All right, so now we have come to a new family of instruments. These are all members of the percussion family. A percussion instrument is played by striking or hitting an instrument in some way. It doesn't involve blowing air through it. Um, so take a look up here at the top. We have a couple that you might recognize. This is what this one sounds like. So this drum actually has um, springs on the bottom of it that have that sort of vibrating sound going on. That is known as a snare drum. Right next to the snare drum you have these very large round metal objects. They sound like this. These are cymbals. Now these particular cymbals you actually hold with your hand and that's why they have straps on them. Symbols can also be part of uh, this instrument down here, as you'll notice some of them are mounted on stands that you would strike with a drumstick. Okay, so back up here at the top, I have this lovely round instrument with little tiny metal circular things on it. Okay, that's the tambourine. Next to the tambourine, I have the castanets which are actually played um, with your hands. They're two blocks that you tap together. Don't have a sound clip for that one. Um, and I also have the bass drum over here. This is actually a bass drum that's on a stand that you would play like with a band or an orchestra, and you just strike it. It only makes one low um, sound, just a low booming sound. Uh, great for keeping the beat. Um, down here you have two very similar looking uh, instruments that have a, a keyboard on them actually. And it's the same setup as a piano keyboard, although instead of using uh, strings that it hits with a hammer, these you hit with a mallet. And so you can choose to play a melody line um, very similar to how you play the piano. The one on the left here is made out of metal, and so you uh, play it and it sounds a little bit more metallic actually when you hear it. Here's an example. That's the glockenspiel, sometimes known as the bells. They're similar but slightly different instruments. And over here, this one's made of wood. Okay, it actually sounds wooden. That's the xylophone. The larger wooden cousin of the xylophone is known as the marimba. You might be familiar with that one. Down on the bottom left, you would see this instrument, or set of instruments, most likely in a band of some kind, a rock band. And it's a collection of various percussion instruments that one person can sit at and play. A bass drum, a snare drum, a tom, some cymbals, things like that. It sounds like this all together. That's the drum kit, or the drum set. Over here, this very simple instrument is just made of metal. You hit it with a metal mallet, and it sounds like... Okay, and this is very cleverly known as the triangle. All right, over here you have this very tall instrument, sort of in the shape of a door here. And this very tall instrument, you might notice, is also set up sort of a keyboard style, just like the xylophone and the glockenspiel. And you play this with, with big mallets. You stand in front of it. It has a pedal on the bottom that you can use uh, to make them ring longer or stop them. And uh, it so kind of sounds like really big church bells. Take a listen. Those are called chimes. And the last one over here on the right, unfortunately, I don't have a sound for either. But this is a unique drum in that it has sort of a sound quality of a bass drum, but you can actually adjust the pitch uh, higher or lower to sort of suit the pitch of the key of the song that they're playing. They usually have multiple of these timpanies, um, three or four, that they can tune to different notes and play together. All right, this last page. I've got a couple of different types of instruments. Up on the top, we have the brass family. The very top instrument up here, you probably recognize. That is the trumpet. It's played with 
three little keys here. The brass instruments are a little bit different than some other instruments because of the mouthpiece. If you'll notice, they have a small round metal mouthpiece that you have to sort of buzz your lips through to play. Here is a slightly larger brass instrument than the trumpet, and it's played by sliding this part of the instrument out and back in again. So that is the trombone. It has a very unique sound because of the way that it can slide between the notes. This very circular, lovely object here sounds like this. You might recognize that theme song. And that is the French horn. And the largest of the brass family is over here. It has a very low sound. That's the tuba. All right, and on the bottom we have all of these instruments here are all part of, they're technically. Uh, some of them are percussion instruments, and this one's electronic, obviously, but they all have something in common in that they have keyboards. And so these are some um, different keyboard instruments that you might know. I assume that you are familiar with this large black one right here. I think everyone has seen one of these at some point in their life. Maybe even know how to play it a little bit. Here's what it sounds like. That's the piano. This particular piano is a grand piano because of how long it is. Um, it's much older cousin, and you'll notice it has the black and white keys reversed, and this particular one has a double row of them. is isn't played very much anymore, but is often used with orchestrations um, to create a very unique sort of sound. Listen in. That's called the harpsichord. Okay, up here uh, you have this pretty familiar looking object. Uh, there's a lot of different names for what it is. Basically, it's an electronic keyboard, or a synthesizer is what I call it. Um, electric piano is another word for it. It's an electronic instrument, and therefore it has the ability to mimic the sounds of a variety of different types of instruments, not just the piano. You guys are familiar with them because they're part of the many loops that you have in your synthesized loops. Um, I don't have a sound effect for that one, unfortunately, but you guys all know it. Synthesizer can basically make almost any sound. And last but not least, we have down here this gigantic thing called a pipe organ. And it is actually played by using a keyboard to open up pipes that send air shooting through these very long tubes that sit on top of them. And they create a pretty unique sound. They're gigantic instruments. You only see them in a couple of spaces, performance halls, churches, etc. So listen in. All right. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little lesson on instruments. And we'll be exploring some more of them again, maybe even in person.